If buying a camera is a big decision, then to decide what camera you would like to buy is even more a difficult decision to make. In this video, I am going to tell you a simple trick which will help you to make better decision. Let's jump into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Srini and I make content related to filmmaking, gear review and B-roll. So if you like such type of content, make sure to subscribe my channel. So as a beginner, it is very difficult to decide which camera you wanted to buy. The decision making process is so difficult that you end up spending so much of time to decide which camera to buy. And sometimes it also happens that you take wrong decision. If you are a beginner and you are thinking which camera to buy, then stick around in this video because I have some simple tricks which will help you to take better decision. So usually in the decision making process of buying a camera, we end up in three different phases is assumption, expectation and realization. Before buying a camera, we always assume if I have that camera, then my video will be more good and it will be more cinematic. And the moment we bought it, we start shooting videos and then we realize the video which I am getting from the camera which I bought is not that I expected. And sooner and later we realize the decision which I took to buy this camera is not great. And then we regret that decision and then we become demotivated to use the camera or else we change the camera. So it is very easy to get confused which camera to buy because there are so many brands available in the market. Like you have Sony, Canon, Nikon, Fuji. And, and then once you solve this mystery, which company brand to go, then comes the next part is to decide which sensor side you should take, whether you should take full frame, crop sensor, and even then when you have to go for DSLR or mirrorless, it is very much easy to get confused to decide which camera to go for it. In this video, I have a simple hack and I'll tell you a simple trick which will help you to make better decision. And the best solution to decide for the camera is a 3P solution. Purpose, preference and price. Keeping these three things in mind, you can decide which camera to go for. The first P is purpose. You need to first identify for what purpose you are trying to buy a camera. Whether you want to shoot a video or you want to shoot a photo or you want to do both. Some cameras are good in photos, some cameras are good in videos and some camera can do both. So as a beginner, I would highly recommend to go for a hybrid camera which will give you a, a good quality of pictures and, and also you can shoot decent videos. The next one is preference. This is moreover your personal choice. Uh, it talks about the company or the particular brand which you want to stick in. It can be Canon, Sony, Fuji or, or Nikon. It, it depends for which brand you want to stick in. Because it's not only the camera body, you need to also invest in the lenses. And, and lenses is not particular one lens. You need to maybe you need to buy more lenses in future. So whenever you're deciding, just make sure which camera company you would like to go for because you want to buy some lenses as well. And if you're if you're not happy with the camera body which you purchase, then you end up changing the brand and then you have to change the lenses. So there you end spending more money. And definitely I am sure by the time we reach to the third point, we do have to make compromises. I know as a beginner we are limited to the budget. We can't spend more money. So, so based on the budget which you can afford, you can decide which camera to buy. Just remember, it's not only the camera body, you need to buy the lenses as well. So when you have a budget, just make sure in your mind, if you get a decent camera with a, with a good lens, then I would highly recommend to do that instead of buying a bigger camera or a better camera and then you end up waiting for, for money to buy another lens. So just think about the budget which you allocated. It should get you a decent camera body and a decent prime lens which will help you to shoot good videos. I am also in the process of changing the camera and with this simple hack it helped me to decide which camera I would like to go for it. The only reason which I am being held up is with the point number three which is the price and because of that I cannot go and buy the camera. At least it helped me to decide which camera to buy and I am going to definitely I am going to share with you guys when I will buy the new camera. And I would highly recommend if you are not in hurry to buy a camera, at least start with what you have. You can start with a smartphone. It can be Android or iPhone. So first start shooting videos with smartphone because as you start shooting videos, you will, you will understand and you will realize what type of camera you need. So start with what you have 
and then you can decide what camera you should buy so friends that's all in this video i hope this video help you to make uh, your decision make sure to give your feedback and comments in the comment section and let me know what you think about this video that's all and i will see you in the next one